What's up guys and welcome to FPL Today, I'm the man in the no JNO and welcome to a video regarding the postponements in the Premier League and what may happen with football during this time in the world where there are so much postponements and so many people getting locked down and quarantined because of what is happening with the virus that is going around. I won't mention it because as soon as I mention it or put it in a title, I get demonetized and I've done my one video around that. So let's try and actually make some money while I don't have work to go to as my work is closed. But before we get into this video around the postponements and what transfers I'm planning on making for Game of 31 where there's no games, a quick word from our sponsors, OneFootball. OneFootball is the perfect app to stay up to date with the football news around the world for anyone that needs the news on the go on their Android or iOS device. Right now, it is basically about keeping you up to date with when football games may or may not be being played and around some of the information that will also be in this video. So go and download the app, top link in the description down below, and let's get on with the video. So, UEFA met on Tuesday, like I said in my previous video, and the Premier League discussed what they were going to do on Thursday. And here I am to give you the update on what could be happening with both of those and what the Fantasy Premier League are planning to do and then what we can do in reaction to all of that. So we'll start off with UEFA and the first thing they announced was Euro 2020. The tournament will be postponed till 2021. This decision was made following a meeting involving its 55 member associations. This is important because it could help the Premier League and other national leagues around the world finish their competitions for the 2019-20 season. Conmebol, the governing body of the South American Footballing leagues have also followed suit by announcing this summer's Copper America would also be put back a year. The UEFA statement, and I won't read the whole thing because it was rather long and it didn't have that much that we necessarily needed to know. This move will help all domestic competitions currently on hold due to the COVID-19 emergency to be completed. So there we have it. At the moment, UEFA plans to finish things like the Champions League and allow national leagues to finish their competitions and Euro 2020 will now be Euro 2021. UEFA have also announced that they will lift restrictions on exclusive calendar slots so domestic games could be now played in midweek and Champs League ties could be played over the weekend, whatever they need to do to actually see these games completed. And rumours have also circulated that this wasn't announced by UEFA that the Champs League could see its climax happen over a couple of days as they get the semi-finalists all to play at one venue and then the final also be played in that venue over a short period of time to get the competition finished. But that is just a rumour. As far as the Premier League is concerned, the Premier League has extended the postponement of games. Premier League and all professional football in England will see matches postponed until the end of April, but plans are still to finish the 2019-20 season. And as far as Fantasy Premier League is concerned, that is everything up until game week 35 that will be affected. The FPL's response to this was to keep the game week deadlines as they are despite no matches being held. So all the deadlines are there for you to make your transfers and carry transfers over into. This could result in a massive game week for game week 36 through to game week 38 where they try and play all of these games. Or additional game weeks could be added to the calendar. That could of course massively affect strategy going into the Fantasy Premier League tail end of the season. And just because I don't want any of you guys to miss a deadline, the deadlines are as follows. Game Week 31, Friday the 20th of March at 7 o'clock. Game Week 32, Saturday the 4th of April at 11.30. Game Week 33, Friday the 10th of April at 7. Game Week 34, Saturday 18th of April at 11.30. And then Game Week 35, Saturday 25th of April at 11.30. So if you want to make transfers, make sure to make them before this deadline. And also potentially this could be something we need to know if we do try to strategize or try and predict what may happen with the Premier League after this postponement is over. So let's actually talk Fantasy Premier League quickly. This is my team currently. As you can see, we have two Wolves players, two Liverpool players, and we were trying to bring in some players that would be involved in blank game week 31, just to make sure we had enough players to see us through it. And my strategy after that would be to use my chips to make the most of game week 32 onwards. Of course, that has massively changed now due to what has happened in the world and the postponements of games. That is the team as it stands, with the bench having Ings, Aurier and Rico on. 
And currently I had two transfers going into this Friday 20th of March deadline. I have used them. Unfortunately, I used them before I formulated a strategy. But what I did was I just focused on bringing in players that I wanted for the end of the season running. Right now, that included Bruno Fernandes. He kind of seems to be on fire. Unfortunately, this stop in play could see his momentum halter which I am slightly worried about, but Man United definitely have something to play for. They're vying for those Champions League places, and Bruno Fernandes seems to be such an important part of that side that I wanted to bring him in. Also, McNeil comes in for Perez because Perez was just taking up a slot, and I think having that many Leicester City players wasn't really helping me out that greatly. So McNeil comes in as well for the tail end of the season, and otherwise the team stays unchanged. This allows me for Game Week 32 to not make a transfer and just hopefully wait and see what happens as far as announcements. So Game Week 33, I may do another two transfers and then carry over from Game Week 34 to 35. So I also have two transfers in Game Week 35. Now my plan is to assume that there may not be a blank Game Week anymore. Now that is an assumption on my part and it could be false. But I imagine they will try and get these games done as quickly as possible if there is a chance for them to get the games completed. With that being said, I believe there will either be a lot of games in game week 36, 37 and 38, which would make them big bumper game weeks. And then potentially I could use my wild card free hit and bench boost, potentially not using my triple captain if that is the case because of all of this, if that is what they go ahead and do. But with all my chips in place, these transfers don't necessarily matter if that is what they do go ahead and do. And again, if I do need to wildcard, again, the transfers won't matter. But what could also happen is additional game weeks, maybe game week 39, 40 and 41 could be added. Enough game weeks so that they don't have a mass, mass of games in game week 36 to 38. But again, I still don't think there will necessarily be blank game weeks unless they do try and just carry on from where they left off and do as many game weeks as they had. But I really think they will try and rush through the games as quickly as possible. So I don't think there'll be a blank game week. I have all my chips in place. So right now it's all about bringing in players that I think have a good run of fixtures with the fixtures they have left to play. Unfortunately, it's not as easy to find out that anymore because if you go on most websites, they don't show you what Game Week 29 and Game Week 30 would have been, which is slightly annoying. But with my wildcard in play and with matches potentially not going in the order that they would have gone in anyway, I think I'm sitting good if the league does continue. If the league doesn't continue, it is a shame I didn't get to use my wild card and my chips, but that is the way it is. So guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video as always. You guys voted in your masses as well regarding what you wanted me to do with the channel during this time. And most people went with news and football updates. So that is what we will do on this channel. On Twitter, it was voted that I do football manager or gaming in general. We might, if I am able to, look at doing that on Twitch. I may leave a link to my Twitch in the description down below because I don't have work to go to for at least two weeks now. So we'll see what happens with that. Go and check out my Twitch if you are interested in watching me stream. But there's no promises around that. Need to speak to the missus first, see if that's all right. But thank you, of course, for tuning in and staying tuned in to this channel. Hit that subscribe, that like, and that notification bell, as well as checking out OneFootball, who have sponsored the channel and has helped me out a lot during this period. I've been JNO, this has been FPL Today, and remember, it's all about the game.